Well, first of all, what we have to do is advance care planning so that this should be done even before they enter a memory care unit. But certainly whenever they enter a memory, memory care unit, it should be up to the facility, the family, and the primary care physician to discuss those issues with regards to end-of-life care as the disease pro progresses. One of the things with dementia is, is that you can't predict at what point over a period of time that they're going to decline to get to a point where they get to where they require hospice. So what I usually do at least is that I suggest that we have a sit down with the family members, review the advanced directives and try to discuss different issues, but also discuss the progression of the disease, telling them that the disease will progress and what they may or may not die from. All right, so that one of the things, for example, as the disease progresses, they lose their appetite, they decrease their intake. People panic with this and they think that there's something wrong, but that is going into the terminal phase of the disease. If families understand this, then they will be more apt to accept it as the, the end of the disease and therefore be open and more open to a palliative care or hospice program. So that's one of the things I usually encourage that because of frequent infections, for example, they're not, their immune system is deficient, they're not ambulating anymore, and they're not eating as well as they should and therefore losing weight, that this is the progression of the disease to the terminal phases of the disease, and that's certainly when we should anticipate that we bring on hospice.